What's up, everybody? How's everyone doing tonight? Welcome to Brandon Coffee here. They work slow. I'm your host, Adi84. And you are here to see comedy. How many people came here tonight to see comedy? Purposely. A couple people, that's good. How many people just walked in the door and they're like, hey, there's a comedy show going on tonight. Everyone see some comedy? Oh, those people right there. I see them, because you guys see it's all right, you can admit it. No one's gonna tag you, at least I won't tag you. That's not how I work. We're beer works. Beer and works, two words that necessarily don't go together very well. For example, if you are a construction worker, beer and work probably doesn't go good when you're raising eye beams up on a skyscraper, or when you're operating a backhoe of some sort, or any of that nature. Uh, beer and works doesn't work good when you're a nuclear engineer, probably a bad idea. But uh, beer works works good when you uh, want to do comedy and you uh, want some nice beer. This place is, uh, Jesus Christ, I'm old. I went to UMass Little like 14 years ago, and this place used to be like a rock band place upstairs and like pool tables and shit. And now it's, uh, it's a lot nicer, a lot cleaner. I did some uh, unspeakable things in the parking lot of this place many moons ago. Not to speak to folks. Um, just to warn you all, because I made this mistake, they changed the bathrooms here to men to women's occasionally, opposite. Uh, when I got here, the men's room was in one place, and then they changed the sign to a woman's room. And if you're not paying attention, you can meet some friends that you may not have planned on meeting tonight. Necessarily a good or a bad thing. A few things you should know about me before we start tonight. I do drive a white van. That's no joke, has no windows, and has tinted windows so you can't, in the back so you can't see in. That's about all I'm gonna tell you about myself, so you can use your imagination for the rest of it and see you know, where, this, where this journey takes you tonight. All right? Like I said, this is free comedy, so we have a few rules in comedy nights, in case you guys don't know, you know. Try to keep conversation at the table to a minimum, you know, shut off your phones, you know, put them on silent, if you will, you know. You can heckle, but I'm gonna let you know that if they start destroying the comics that is back, there's nothing I can do about it. So you just plan to put yourself. So, so unless you're funnier than the comics, then I would not even try to attempt that. It would just be bad news for everyone. I've seen some terrible things happen. Cops have been called, fire departments, you know, the Pope. Things get wild. Uh, I am not from this area necessarily. I'm from Rivera, north of Boston. It's a very fine town, a suburb of Boston. We're known for a few things. Women with big hair, people who still think it's 1986, and our own selective wardrobe, which we call the Rivera Tuxedo, which I do not have on tonight, but occasionally you'll see me in such an outfit. It is an Adidas red suit that matches top and bottom. And you can wear it to weddings, bar mitzvahs, and funerals. Or just to walk down the beach. If you take the jacket of the tuxedo off, it is called the East Boston Tuxedo. Also acceptable in all those formal places to be. Yeah, it's uh, it's crazy driving up here. It's, good, it's like a 45 minute ride up from Boston, but uh, it gives me a lot of time to think about a lot of things. For example, I drove by an old age home. It was called Sunrise. Well, think about it. Not every day those people are actually going to see a sunrise. I think it's a very ironic name of a uh, old age home to be called. It should be called, hey, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. That's what I say to my grandma. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe I won't. Anything happens. That was a year old. Bumper stickers on cars is another thing you see when you drive on the road. Bumper stickers. Everyone has these bumper stickers like, you know, my, my kid, uh, you know, was on a stoop, you know? Or my, my car climbed Mount Washington. You know for a fact that a fucking shipbox didn't climb Mount Washington. It's like a, it's like a 98 Ford Aerostar minivan with the mufflers hanging off. You know, that's, you know, it doesn't have a window, it has a piece of plastic on the side of it, taped in. 
So that thing did not climb Mount Washington at all. They should have more honest bumper stickers on people's cars, you know? Like, my kid failed the sixth grade. You know? My wife's been cheating on me with the UPS guy. I lost my ding dong in an industrial accident last week almost, you know? I mean, it's truthful. It's, it's better to be truth than, you know, because you, you ever go on a date and you stop lying? Because you think maybe this is going to be like, you know, a quick thing, you know, maybe a one and done. You know, hang out with this girl, you know, maybe get lucky in the back of the Bay Works parking lot. And the next thing you know, you're marrying her in nine months. But because you lied so much on the first date, you have to now try to kill off these characters, if you will, like in a sitcom. And you got to try to defuse all these lies. It just doesn't work out. If I just told her straight out, you know, I lost my ding dong in an industrial accident. Then by date six, when she wants to have sex with you, you don't have to make excuses anymore. You can just say, hey, listen, you know, I was bare and working and backing up a backbone. Things turned bad very, very quickly. Uh, we're in the North Shore of Boston, in case you don't know. It's funny, I use that joke. You're not in Boston. People look at me like, hey, what's going on? In fact, I call the North Shore of Boston the Boston, Boston's hat. And I'll just come on this area. And you have Boston South Shore, which is the Boston Shoes. And the shoes and the hats don't get along very well. Not at all at all. They're two different worlds. Has anyone ever been to the South Shore of Boston in this room? Voluntarily? It's a fucking nightmare. It's like, it's like, it's like a parallel universe down there. Everything's the opposite, you know? They don't have, they don't have dunks, they have Mary Luce. Well, you know, but it's nice because the dunks of my house, I get this like 90 year old lady who's barely breathing. Down at Mary Lou's in the South Shore, you get these like 17 year old girls wearing a bathing suit, serving coffee in the morning. So I guess that's one of the better things in the South Shore. And they get the cape, I guess, if you like that kind of shit. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, I just recently looked in the news and they said, apparently I didn't know about this. In China, when someone dies, it is very, very socially acceptable to have strippers come to the funeral. And in fact, for days after your spouse dies, it is completely acceptable to have strippers just coming in and out of the house. Like, 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 like you know, like, like in and out of your house, I guess. I could try a better analogy than that. But apparently China wants to ban this thing, which I think is... Absolutely terrible, because the way I look at it is if you're married to a woman for more than, you know, five years, and you survived it, that's a successful, uh, that's successful right there. You must be doing something right. But then the fact that you know, she's the only lady you've been with for all your entire life, and now you're an 86-year-old guy, and all you've been hoping for is that if you survived her, that you finally get endless strippers, and now they want to ban that from you. I think that's terrible. I think that's, that's we should be. Terrible, she goes to the Supreme, they should go to the Supreme Court of China if that even exists for me. Craigslist got rid of their uh, casual encounters uh, list, huh? You guys see that? Put a damper on my Saturday night, I can tell you that much. And I like how they describe it as casual encounters. Men looking for women. Ooh. Women looking for men, which is never anyone on there, except for men looking for other men. You know. Couples looking for single men, which never ever happens. Couples looking for single women. Just men looking for single women, that's all it really is. And then you come up with all these elaborate email addresses that you set up, because you know I'm getting your real email address, right? When you're sending out these messages to people, and you know, you have a pic, and next thing you know, 10 minutes later, you're talking to a dude who lives downstairs from you. He's been doing the same thing you're doing. Casual encounters, it just ruined everyone's, everyone's life. But you, go, you can always go back page, though, right? So you always go there until they shut that down and take away our freedom. So the Merrick's made of them. You know, Craigslist. You do have the Craigslist kill, which is probably something bad that's happening out of there, right? I mean, the guy had a great business scheme. He would go and hire a hooker, rob her, and then leave. Who was she gonna do, tell the cops? What happened was he actually killed her, which is it's a total, that wasn't a plan. That's like you and your buddies going and thinking about robbing a convenience store and be like, oh, hey, dude, you're gonna drive the getaway car. I'm gonna go in and say, hey, give me the money. She's gonna give me the money. We're gonna drive away and we're gonna take off to New Hampshire. And instead, your buddy goes in there and starts chit-chatting with some bra you went to high school with. Everything gets confused. You're sitting in the car waiting. 
he goes, someone has a gun, someone shoots someone. It's like that scene in uh, Boogie Nights. You ever see that? Where the, 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 the black cowboy wants to open a radio store and he goes into the donut shop and someone shoots the guy there and everyone's dead and he's covered with blood and the money's just sitting there. It turns, but he got the money. In my situation, that wouldn't happen. I'd be spending uh, you know, 20 years in Walpole prison now, in the South Shore. Another reason I had sex on it. Alright, so today we got, we got a bunch of comics tonight. Well, eight of us. Second night here. Should be a good time. You guys ready for people to actually make you laugh? There you go. I knew there were people out there somewhere. I hate this mix in. I don't know why I bring it. It's a process. It's like in, in, in like stand up comedy one on one, they teach you how to use a mic stand. This is not a really good mic stand to use, so be careful you don't shut the mic off and look like an asshole. I'm pretty sure you'll know if the mic's off, but you will be like, what's this guy saying? And then you start hearing casual conversation in the background. But yeah. Alright, so first up tonight, we have a very funny guy. Came all the way up here from, uh, where'd you come from? Right? Tooksbury? So Barry of the Took. Let's keep it going for Andrew McGinnis, everybody. The Wicked Explorers of ID84 and Susie J is brought to you by thepacky.com. Check out thepacky.com.